Have you ever wondered if the devil could appear anywhere in the USA, especially in certain cities? It's a wild idea, but picture this. What if there were special tools that could detect and even capture the devil's presence on camera? It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but imagine if it were real. Recently, Elon Musk made a shocking claim. He said that the devil might be everywhere in America, particularly in 14 cities. Even more interesting, Musk shared that he had a vivid dream where he came face to face with God. This dream had such a deep effect on him that it made him question the existence of both divine and dark forces in the world. In Musk's dream, he saw God in a way that changed him. He's always been a believer in the power of technology, and this experience made him wonder if there might be a way to detect the devil using advanced tools. Musk thinks that if we had the right technology, we might be able to learn more about this mysterious being. His announcement has sparked a lot of discussion, bringing together ideas about spirituality, technology, and the supernatural. Now, people are asking big questions. Could there be a way to track or record the devil's presence? And if so, what would that mean for how we understand good and evil in the world? Elon Musk stood in his high-tech lab, surrounded by futuristic devices that glowed and buzzed softly. He was known for pushing the limits of technology, always reaching for what others thought was impossible. Recently, Musk had invented something truly groundbreaking a machine called the Spectral Analyzer. This wasn't just any gadget. It was designed to detect supernatural entities, like ghosts and demons, which were invisible to the human eye. When Musk first shared his bold idea to explore the unseen world of spirits and dark forces, many people mocked him. They thought he was crazy, but that didn't stop him. He was determined to discover the hidden realities that no one else had dared to investigate. One evening, he decided it was time to turn on the spectral analyzer for the very first time. As he pressed the button, the lab became eerily quiet, as if the whole world held its breath. A strange, heavy silence filled the air. The machine started to hum softly, then grew louder as it powered up. The air around Musk seemed to shimmer with energy and anticipation. He carefully adjusted the machine, ensuring it was ready to scan for anything out of the ordinary, anything that human eyes couldn't normally see. After a few tense moments, the screen of the spectral analyzer flickered to life. Slowly, strange, blurry shapes began to form. Musk's heart pounded in his chest as he leaned closer to the screen, his eyes wide with amazement. There, right in front of him, were shadowy figures' demons. These dark forms floated through the air around him. Normally, they were invisible, but thanks to Musk's invention, he could now see them as clearly as the room he stood in. Later that night, as Musk drifted into sleep, he had a powerful and disturbing dream. In his dream, he was floating high above the United States, looking down at the country below. The sky was dark and stormy, filled with swirling clouds that cast an eerie shadow over the land. As he watched, his heart began to race. The entire country was overrun with dark, shadowy figures' demons. They were everywhere, from the busiest cities to the quietest towns. In New York City, the demons slithered through the crowded streets, their evil eyes watching the people who passed by completely unaware of the darkness surrounding them. They perched on top of skyscrapers, blending into the night sky, whispering fears and anxieties into the ears of everyone below. In Los Angeles, the demons hid in the shadows of the Hollywood Hills. They lurked around movie sets and glamorous parties, feeding off the vanity, greed, and jealousy in the city. With each passing moment, the demons grew stronger. In Chicago, they slipped through dark alleys and underground tunnels, their sinister laughter echoing through the streets. They thrived on the city's troubled past of corruption and violence, pulling people deeper into despair without them even knowing. But it wasn't just the big cities. In Musk's dream, he saw demons in small towns and rural areas too. They haunted abandoned houses, 
twisted trees, and lonely roads. They crept into people's homes, whispering doubt and despair into their minds, filling their hearts with hopelessness. No place in the country seemed safe. Everywhere Musk looked, these dark figures were spreading their influence, sowing misery and fear. The weight of it all pressed down on Musk's chest as he watched the demons wreak havoc. He felt a deep sense of urgency, a desperate need to stop the suffering he was witnessing. But it seemed impossible. There were just too many demons, and their reach was too wide. Suddenly, Musk's dream shifted, and the dark landscape faded away. In its place, a brilliant light appeared, and in that light Musk saw God. The presence of God filled Musk with awe and peace. God spoke to him, not in words, but in a way that Musk could feel deep in his soul. God's message was clear. Technology wasn't enough to fight the evil forces Musk had seen. The real battle would be fought with the strength of the human spirit, with love, compassion, and unity. Use your knowledge, God's voice echoed in Musk's mind, to bring people together, to inspire goodness. The fight against darkness isn't just about machines or inventions. It's about the power within people to choose kindness, to lift each other in the face of despair. When Musk woke up, the dream was still fresh in his mind. It had shaken him to his core, but it also gave him a new sense of purpose. He realized that the spectral analyzer, the machine he had created to reveal demons, wasn't just about showing people the darkness around them. It was about inspiring them to fight that darkness, to be better, kinder, and more compassionate. Musk began to speak out, sharing his vision of a world where people confronted their inner demons and supported one another. He urged people to be more generous, to practice empathy, and to build stronger communities. His message spread like wildfire. Slowly but surely, people started to come together. Acts of kindness and generosity became more common, and little by little, the influence of the demons started to fade. Elon Musk's journey began with a technological marvel, a machine that could see the invisible. But it ended with a profound spiritual awakening. He had seen demons lurking in the shadows, and he had also met God in his dreams. In the end, he understood that while technology could reveal the darkness, only the collective strength of humanity could drive it away. Musk had started with a machine, but he finished with a movement a movement that reclaimed the soul of a nation by embracing love, unity, and hope. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us his graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.